Hi, welcome to my video on how to pray. My name is Julia. We all need a prayer sometimes and we certainly all need to pray. Life can be very challenging and I personally find myself at least once a day in a situation where I feel I need some extra help. Maybe it is not that extreme for everybody, but I think we all go through challenging times and it is good to know how we can connect with something that can help us through. But a lot of us don't really know how to pray. The world we grow up in is mainly atheistic and no one teaches us how to pray. But prayer is not only linked to faith. You don't have to be a Christian or believe in God even. I feel prayer essentially means to reconnect with the larger picture of life, the meaning of life, that which made us come here and which will carry us through. And whether you find that within yourself, outside of you, connected to your body or soul, it doesn't really matter. We all have the possibility to reach out and be helped. Prayer is never a wasted moment. You will find it changes the vibrations inside of you. You feel more peaceful. And with that, everything else in life will follow. You might not notice immediately, but the more you pray, the more immediate the results will be and the more you will be able to perceive them. Prayer can be very healing and transformative. And this is why I want to help more people to be able to access it. Today, I would like to share two different kinds of prayers. We all have different temperaments. And one of the most important aspects of prayer is to make it feel as right and as intimate as possible. We all essentially come from the same love, but the ways we find to it are as many as there are people on this planet. And this is why we have all these different expressions of faith and atheism in this world. A few thoughts about prayer. Prayer is non-denominational. Anyone with any faith or no particular faith at all can pray. It really means to connect with your essential self, with truth or the benevolence of life. There is no right or wrong. Basically, the more you speak from the depths of your heart, the more authentic your prayer will be and the more powerful. With other aspects of life, there might be an authority that can instruct you and teach you because they have studied the subject and become an expert. But with prayer, your heart is the point of connection. This is where God or truth or your true self resides. So the first step we need to take perhaps is to drop our attention from the mind, which probably is the default position in most of our life to the heart. But this can be very challenging because it is not something our society encourages us to do or gives us any instructions for. Usually, if we speak from the heart, it is considered to be a sign of weakness or shows vulnerability, which often is taken advantage of. But remember, society is a construct, not the truth as it is. It always changes and it is a fabrication of human minds. But how reliable is the mind and all of its constructions? Not long ago, we believed or said that women were inferior to men, that they were second class, as well as people of different ethnicities. But was this ever right? Not really. So let's be honest, society and its beliefs need to be constantly contested and challenged and made better according to a truth that we all know deep inside of our hearts. 
We all know that we are the same, right? No matter what gender we are or what color our skin is. These are superficial forms of identification. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. So we must let go of those fabricated ideas about life and the world and listen to the depths of our own hearts. Unplugged, uncontaminated by conditioning and societal imaginary constructs. Some people pray out of habit or tradition in a kind of ritualistic way. And that is good. All prayer is good. But I think in order to unlock the full potential of prayer, we need to utter each word as though we discover it for the very first time. This is how prayer becomes alive and active in your own life. How we show sincerity and that we actually deserve it. Give time and space to your prayer. You can't pray in a rush between all sorts of different appointments. Essentially, all of life is a prayer, but when you start out, it is really important to make time for it. Again, this is how you demonstrate your sincerity. You are connecting with a source of life, that which lies at the heart of all of existence. So pick a time where you won't be interrupted and where you can give it your full attention. Often we understand prayer as asking God for a specific thing. Like, can you help me out with this meeting or this job promotion? Or can you help me improve my health or wealth? So many different things. But when starting out to pray, it is good to really begin with the essentials. So let us pray today for the ability to pray, to be open, to be sincere, the ability to receive prayer and God or the benevolence of life in our hearts. Humility is a big part of that. If there is a big ego in the room, there is not much space for anything else. Life energy cannot flow freely as everything is held tight into one small container. Ego is confining, prayer is liberating. Think of the immensity of the universe as opposed to one tiny human being. This is like ego compared to the truth of life. So you need to be brave and let go of personal storylines. Let us pray with an open heart that God may enter into our lives and guide us. That he may purify our hearts from selfishness, stubbornness, negativity and bad tendencies. that he may give us a taste of his beauty, immensity and love. We pray for being open to receiving, open to letting go of prejudice preconceptions, expectations. We might not know in what ways His Divine Presence will manifest in our lives and we surrender the need to know. Let us simply pray that our hearts may be open to receiving the presence of God in our life to guide us in whatever form that may be. 
may you give us the ability to trust and to let go of ego, expectation, judgment and fear. Like a small child, we await your presence with open arms. Help us to burn down all the defenses, because with you who are love in its purest form, they are not needed. We trust and we are open without compromise to receive you in our hearts, our most intimate home. Amen. Simply be still for a moment. Draw the awareness from the outside to the inside. your internal world. Can you hear your breath? Can you feel it moving in and out through the nostrils with a slight cooling and then warming sensation? Can you hear the soft flowing sound of the breath? For a few moments drop everything except for your breath. Effortlessly follow your breath moving in and out. the waves in the ocean. Perhaps you feel something become wider and softer. your skin wider and softer. The boundaries of your body your way of perceiving Perhaps you have been preoccupied with something before and now that concern is less pressing, fading more into the background while your heart has become wider and opened up to a sense of peace that feels more authentic, more truthful to who you really are. Stay with this for a few more moments. These are two possibilities for prayer. One more traditional, if you like, praying to a God, and the other one connecting with the truth of who you really are. I hope either of them or both can help you today. Let me know in the comment box below and if you have other requests. 
Don't forget to press like if you enjoyed this video and to subscribe to my channel so you can receive invitations to other videos like this. May your day continue to be blessed and carried by the love and the light that shines inside of your heart.